All right, buddy. Welcome back to PTS. Daniel? With Sandler. With Sandler. Daniel with Sandler. John Yo with PT. There we go. All right. All right. So let's talk about mental and physical well-being and the impact it has on sales, good and bad. So we've all had those opportunities where we're in a sales conversation or we're a period of time and we're mentally not in the game. <laughs> and there could be so many reasons why. It can be a distraction at home. It could be completely unrelated to work or everything else going on around us. And we're just not in the conversation like we should be. There's the physical side. How do we feel? How do we do getting up in the morning? Are we really charged and ready to go? And you talk a lot about you've got to work on a lot of things to be a great salesperson. And that physical and mental aspect is a big part of how effective we're going to be. Tell Two, us tell us more. It's so funny <laughs> we bring this up. Two days ago, I don't know why. I woke up, I just I wasn't feeling good about life, about me, mm -hmm. about my world, my environment. I just, I was like, sometimes you get these days like, why am I doing any of this, <laughs> right? right? And, and so this is the weird thing. Like I had some calls I needed to make, some people I needed to reach out. And I'm like, I can't. they're going to end up horrible, right? So here's yep. what I did. I did. I'm sharing some of my cuts and bruises. <laughs> Don't tell my wife this. About two in the afternoon, I drove to the local Dairy Queen got a large blizzard and I drove to my park and I ate it <laughs> and I contemplated my life that's what I did and and by the end of this I know it sounds weird right by the end of the afternoon I was like all right you just need to wake up and start I slap myself basically and yep. I go tomorrow's Wednesday you got to hit the ground running and man I did I, I woke up Wednesday I'm like today's the day ready right? to go made those calls I should have made Tuesday and you know what that's normal yeah we this. can't always be on game. Oh, I've had days it's 115 and I just pack my stuff up. I just take my ball and I go home. Go kind for of thing. it, right? And because it's just, it's not going to go well. Sales is one of those jobs. If we're not on top of our game, attitude-wise, yep. physically, spiritually, if we're not zoned in, we're going to get killed. Yep. And so just admit when you're not... I like the idea. Take your ball, go home, and try again tomorrow. That's now. Don't let it last for a month. Yep. But there, there is something to that. If I don't get enough sleep, it's really hard to work the next day. Yes. If if I'm hurt, it's hard to work the next day. If I lost a sale that I should have had and I made yep. stupid mistakes, that's hard to bounce back from that yep. really quickly. It's okay. Quit beating yourself up over that. But so to speak, get on the horse and get going again. Yeah, I go through periods where if I don't get some regular physical activity, not sharp. For me, the mental side is I gotta have some time to wind down, and I've gotta have some time where I'm doing things to stay sharp, reading, whatever the case may be, and it makes all the difference in the world. Let me add this at the very end. Sandler has what's called the Attitude Behavior Technique Triangle. At the top of everything we teach, the very, very top is what are we doing with our spirit? There you go. How are we de-stressing ourselves? How are we making sure that we are okay? And ultimately, are we doing this for something bigger than us? Yep. And if you can get to that point, it changes everything. But if if you're stressed, if you're anxious, if you're like, I need to make this because I got to meet my quota, we're not going to do well. Not going to get there. No. Nope. Yep. All right, everybody. See you again tomorrow. Have fun.